Hello everyone, welcome to Philos Academy. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find the determinant, inverse and the adjoint of a 3x3 matrix and a 2x2 matrix. So without wasting much time, let's start. Now first I'm going to start with the 3x3 matrix. Okay. So given matrix A is equal to 2, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So let's see how to find the determinant, the inverse, and then the adjoint of this matrix A. So to do that, what we are going to do is to click on mode. Okay. Now whatever I'll be doing on this calculator, you do you can do the same on the second calculator here. Okay, it's still the same thing. Now, when you choose mode, then you go to option six, matrix. Okay. Now when you choose option six, then you decide where you want to fix your matrix, either matrix A, B, or C. So I want to use A. So I choose option one. Now, I told you the first one I'm going to show you is 3x3 matrix. So, because I want to use 3x3 matrix, I'll choose option 1 for 3x3. Three three. So, you have, you have it in this form. Now, let's fix the various elements in it on the calculator. So, to do that, the first one is 2. So, you choose 2 equals. Then, the second one is 1. So we choose 1 equals, then the next one is 3, 3 equals, 4 equals, 5 equals, 6 equals, and the next one is 7 equals, 8 equals, 9 equals. Now after fixing all, then you click on AC. Now when you click on AC, the data you input is not totally gone, it's still within the calculator. So, this is what we are going to do. Now, to get a determinant, are you with me? To get a determinant, you click on shift, then you choose option 4. You click on 4. Now, when you click on 4, then you come to option 7. They've written DET over there, which means determinant. So, you choose option 7. Now, after choosing option 7, now, determinant of what? The calculator is asking that determinant of what do you want to find? So, we want to find determinant of matrix A. So, to fix matrix A there, we press the shift again. Then, we click on option 4. Then, we choose option 3. You see, on option 3, they've written mat A there. So, we choose 3. So you see that it has fixed it there. So determinant of matrix A. Then you close the bracket. And press equals. It gives you negative 9. So it means that determinant of matrix A is negative 9. That's it. Now let's also see how to find the inverse of this matrix. You can press AC. Your data is still within the calculator. Now, to get the inverse of this matrix, you can press shift, then you go to option 4. Now what we want to do is to find the inverse, isn't it? So we choose option 3 for mat A, matrix A, okay. Now matrix A inverse, isn't it? So to get the inverse of matrix A, look at the key here. X exponent negative 1 can give you matrix A exponent negative 1 when you click on it. So you see that. So matrix A exponent negative 1. So when you press equal to sign, it gives you the matrix. So as you can see, the first one, 0 0.3333, is the same as 1 over 3. You can press SD to convert it to decimal, which is the same. When you go to the next side, negative 1.66 is the same as negative 5 over 3. If you press SD, you have it seem like that. Negative 1.66667. So, continuously that way. So, this is how you get the inverse of the matrix. Now, also, to get the adjoint of this matrix, 
to get the agents of the matrix. This is what we do. Now, you must know that you must know that inverse of matrix A is equal to 1 over determinant of matrix A times agent of A. Now, if you know this formula, then you can make agent of A the subject. If you make agent of A the subject, you are going to get agent of A equals A inverse times determinant of A, isn't it? So if that is the case, if agent of A is equal to A inverse times determinant of A, then we can easily find agent of A. So to get agent of A, this is what we do. Shift. Your data is still within the calculator. If you feel that it's not there, you can refix it. Okay. So, shift, then you come to option 4. When you come to option 4, then you choose option 3, math A. Then you press the inverse. So, you have math A inverse. Then you click on times. You know, agent of A is equal to inverse of matrix A times determinant of matrix A. Isn't it? So, math A inverse times then to get determinant, you click on the shift again, and then option 4, then we choose determinant, option 7. So, mat A inverse times determinant of what? Matrix A. So, let's fix in matrix A. So, you press shift again, then option 4, then you go to option 3, which is mat A. So, Mat A inverse times determinant of mat A. So you close the bracket and press equal to. So when you do that, you get adjoint of matrix A, which is negative 3, 15, neg 9, 6, neg 3, 0, neg 3, neg 9, and 6. So that's the adjoint of mat A. Now, now, before we take another example on a 3 by 3 matrix, let's take one on a two by two matrix okay now remember i'm showing you this so that when you are in exams you can always compare the calculator with what you solve to know if you're on the right right path or not and also if it is mcq so that you can easily solve it and go okay so let's take a two by two matrix so given the matrix a which is a two by two matrix matrix a is equal to 9 13 15 and 18 so let's see how to find the determinant and the inverse and also the adjoint of this matrix this 2 by 2 matrix so to do that remember you can use the second calculator too okay so to do that we click on mode then we go to option 6 which is matrix okay then you click on a mat a so when you check through, you see that 2 by 2 is at option 5. Okay, you see that 2 by 2 is at option 5. So you click on option 5. So let's fix the elements in the matrix in it. So row 1, column 1 has 9. So let's fix it there. Equals. Now row 1, column 2, there is 13 there. So let's fix it there. Then row 2, column 1 has 15 there. So let's fix it there. Then row 2, column 2 has 18. So let's fix it there. So equals. So now you press AC. Your data is still within the calculator, okay? So to get your answers, you click on Shift. Then you come to option 4, matrix. So we want to find the determinant of what? This 2 by 2 matrix, isn't it? So you choose option 7, determinant. Now, determinant of what? Of matrix A, isn't it? So, we click shift again, and then we come to option 4 again. Then we choose option 3, which is mat A. So, it gives you determinant of matrix A. So, we close the bracket and press equal to. So, this means that determinant of matrix A is negative 33. Now, let's see how to find the inverse also. Now, to get the inverse, you can click on AC, you click on Shift, then Option 4. You fix your data in Math A, isn't it? So, you choose Option 3. Now, to get the inverse, you just come to this particular key here. 
so you click on it so you have math a is going to negative one which is which means math a inverse okay so you press equal to so this gives you the inverse of what math a so that is negative 0 0.545 positive 0 0.3939 then positive 0 0.4545 and negative 0 0.272 the first one in fraction form is negative 6 over 11 for the second one in fraction form is 13 over 33 continuous that way okay yeah so let's see how to find the adjoint now to get the adjoint remember that matrix a inverse that is inverse of matrix a is equal to 1 over determinant times the adjoint of a isn't it so if you make adjoint of a the subject adjoint of a will be equal to a inverse times determinant isn't it so to do that we want to fix a inverse times determinant of a so to do that you can click on shift option 4 then we need matrix a inverse isn't it so you choose option 3 inverse times to get determinant of a you come back to the shift then option 4 then option 7 determinant then determinant of what so we fix matrix a in it so shift option 4 then mat a is at option 3 so we have mat a inverse times determinant of what matrix a so we close the bracket and press equal to sign so we get the adjoint so the adjoint is positive positive 18 neg 13 neg 15 and positive 9 so that is the adjoint of these two by two matches so the next one we to take another example on the three by three matches so let's take another example on the three by three matches so given that matches b is equal to neg three zero zero two neg five zero six one four so let's see how to find the determinant, the inverse, and then the adjoint of this match is B. Okay. So to do that, you can click on mode. Then we choose match is 6. Now we want to fix it in match is B. You can decide to fix it in match is A. But because this matrix is called B, so okay, I feel like fixing it in match is B. So 2. Then I choose option 1, which is 3 by 3 matches. So let's fix the elements in matches B. So the first one is negative 3. So neg 3 equals. The second one is 0 equals. Row 1, column 3 is also 0. So we fix 0 there. Then row 2, column 1 is 2. Row 2, column 2 is negative 5. Row 2, column 3 is 0. Row 3, column 1 is 6. Row 3, column 2 is 1. Then row 3, column 3 is 4. Now after fixing everything, then you click on AC. Then first we want to find the determinant. So to get the determinant, we press Shift, then Option 4, then you go to Option 7. Now, you get determinant of what? Of matches B, isn't it? So you click on shift, 4. So mat B is at option 4. Please remember, you fix your data in matrix B, not in matrix A. So you have to choose option 4 for mat B. So determinant of matrix B equals 60. So the determinant of matrix B is 60. Now, to get the inverse of matrix B, we can use the same shift again. You can press AC before doing it. Determinant of... So you press shift again. Then you choose option 4. Then when you choose option 4, you choose mat B, which is option 4. Then inverse. This is the inverse. So when you press equal to sign, you get your answer. Okay, so the first one is negative 1 over 3, which is negative 0 0.333. The second one is 0, 0, like that. Now, let's see how to find the adjoint of this same matrix B. 
Now to get the agent of this same matches B, we click on shift, then we go to option 4. Now we know that adjoint of matches B should be equal to B inverse times determinant of B. I derive this from the fact that B inverse is equal to 1 over determinant of B times adjoint of B. So if you make adjoint of B the subject, adjoint of B will be equal to B inverse times determinant of B, isn't it? So if that is the case, let's fix B inverse times determinant of B. So to get B inverse, we choose option 4, then inverse times the determinant of B. So to get the determinant of B, we click the shift again, option 4, then we choose the option which says determinant of B. So to get matrix B into the bracket, you press shift, then you choose option 4, then matrix b is at option 4 so you choose option 4 again so you have b inverse times determinant of b so you close the bracket so the adjoint is negative 20 0 0 neg 8 neg 12 0 32 3 and 15 so that is the end of this so thank you for watching if you are new to this channel please do well to subscribe so that you can always get more important videos like this from us Thank you.